Okay, there we go. Um, let's look. Oh, we got Spirit here. That's awesome. They're running Spice from the Shadows, Jolt. Actually, I call it Surge. Um, then we got Sloppy Butcher and Save the Best for Last. Ooh, found a survivor real quickly from the beginning of the game. And let's see how this pans out. Instantly phasing. Oh, it looks like the survivor's running towards Shaq. Oh, I hear him. Nice, that's Shaq Pal out of the way. That was a good move right there. So, Spear already has a first down and knows the location of another survivor. And basement is right there. So if you get the basement hook, that's actually an extra bonus point. So we'll be keeping track of that. So, yep, that is officially one hook. And not only that, but it was a basement hook, giving them bonus points. Good job. Uh... Yeah, Lazarus, I have checked with Jackals already. So, found the Obsession. That's not very good because that ruins the Save the Best for Last. But, I mean, who really cares about Save the Best for Last stacks when you already have all that? Getting the pallet out of the way. We have an Unhook right here. So, that's good. Let's check up. They're healing, so they should get points soon. Now, let's look from the Survivor's point of view right here. The spirit's been playing really well, but this survivor is definitely holding his own. Banana Cat right here. Banana Cat is a pro. Oh! Banana Cat has fallen, unfortunately. So, the spirit looks like they're about to get a second one right there. And there was a heal, so we'll have to mark that down as well. Another hook as well. Let's go check on the spirit. People doing gens. Oh, oh! Spirit missed that. <laughs> I thought they were gonna get a oh, victory. Oh, medium vault's gonna hurt them. Now let's see how they do. Now a lot of these people are from like Russia and stuff like that, so don't worry about all of that. There's another nice hit and an unhook as well. Let's see how everything is going. Going after the obsession again. Interesting. You're not going to get your sacks for save the best for last, but they were out in the open. That was a nice hit. Very beautiful. And there's Sloppy Butcher. Oh, I see someone. There's them with the flashlight. Bada bing. Bada boom. There's another basement hook. Some extra points. Excellent job, killer. Some more phasing. Let's see. They don't hear anybody. Oh, there's someone. There's the Claudette right there, and there's no more... Oh, nice sprint first hold. But there is no more basement pallet anymore. So that's no good. I think they can... They probably could have gotten that. Or was that a fast fault? I'm not sure. But hey, there's Spice from the Shadow value. I never realized that Spice from the Shadow was going to be so good on Spirit. But Banana Cat is not getting saved. That's definitely a cause for concern. Microphone has gotten healed, though. And there goes Banana Cat getting saved. Another unhook. They're right there. Nice. That was a really good down. And this Claudette should be death hook now. Was that a missed skill check? Oh, there's a generator done. So that's some more bonus for the survivors. Oh, there's the hook. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of weird. But beautiful. Four hooks now. No kills. Um... We got Jen done, and was that not a heal? Yeah, that is some really solid spirit play. I swear there was a heal right there. Yeah, Banana Cat's been healed. If I'm wrong with my heal, let me go back in the stream just double check. There's Malloy. I'm not sure how exactly to say that. Okay, yeah, Banana Cat has been healed as well. So let's go back. Oh my gosh, another basement hook. This is going great for the spirit. So that's their fifth hook of the game. And not only that, but a third basement hook. But we have also gotten another heal. Boom. So we have four heals from the survivors. And chasing the... Is that a Renato? Honestly, I don't remember a lot of the newer survivors' names. I'm going to be totally for real. Oh, good move right there by the survivor. Walk in. Let's look at his point of view. Nice stun. Smash hit. Perfect value. And then, there we go. Slow vaulting. Hiding around. Oh, 
Watch out. Oh, that was so unlucky. And no one is saving Malloy. That's definitely a cause for concern. They might go to second stage soon. Oh, watch out. Oh, that was really good. Um, I honestly would have gotten hit there because of the passive phasing really hurt him. Watch out. They're coming around. Yeah, it's actually pretty scary. Okay, Malloy has been saved. Fourth unhook. Wait, well, that's the fifth unhook. <laughs> and here we go. Another gen done. That's two done. That's the first hook for them, though. So that's six hooks. Three of them were in basement. That is crazy value. And then main building's being worked on. Um, they got resilience rocking. And now I see Spirit over there. Um, Spirit is... I'm not sure where Spirit went. Okay. Standing right there, Banana Cat. Looks like they're going in for the save. Oh. Looks like they're getting chased. Yep. That's no good. And now they go down. And Microphone just got saved. Oh. That looks like another basement hook, and there's no basement... Uh, <laughs> not no basement. There is no angle for a flashlight save. So that's going to be the fourth basement hook, seventh unhook. I mean, seventh hook. There have been six unhooks. Now, going back towards where the other people were. That generator is yet to be worked on. Let's go check on. They're getting healed. There's another heal. That's five heals. Boom. They're working on that generator. There are a lot of nearby generators. Oh, someone's staying in the basement. I wonder what they're doing. It's a little odd, I must say. But yeah, this spirit's playing really well. Um, the survivors are also playing very well. Probably, they're staying around by generators a lot, and someone is standing in basement. Oh, there we go. I was kind of confused on what was going on. That's another unhook. Seven unhooks. Oh, nice. I hear the other claw that behind the spirit. Oh, there's that spirit. Is she gonna tell? Yeah, that's probably smart right there. Get someone out of the game. Ooh, almost got the spin, and there's the Renato. Oh. Ooh, that was a nice move. I thought she was just gonna go for the phase. Sprint burst holding again. Good job. And there's the Renato. Uh, I don't think they got the flashlight angle right there. Oh, close but no cigar. If they can get another... Wait, I think they actually cap basement hooks. They literally can't get any more value from basement. But I mean, still very, very solid spirit play. Definitely. Uh, there goes another hook. Um, has anyone been healed since Renato's heal? No siree. And now we're on another survivor. There is so much pressure. This spirit is playing really well. The survivors, um, let's see, they're almost done with the generator. And this Claudette is walking around to that generator. Um, I think they're trying to get their sprint burst ready or something. I'm not sure. But there goes Microphone running away from the generator. So that's definitely a really good move. There's a nice filler pallet right there. Let's see how he does the mind games. I hear him. Oh! Nice move. This Renato is playing really good against the Spirit. Dropping the pallet. Unfortunately, didn't get the smash hit value. That gen's almost done. This gen's being worked on. So, the Spirit definitely has a lot of pressure, but the survivors can come back for sure. Oh, that was a nice move. Really good move right there by the Spirit. So now she's going to go and get herself her ninth hook of the game. If I am not mistaken. Yeah, that's nine. Now going over to that generator is almost done. Let's see where the survivor is. She's trying to hide. That's a smart move. But it looks like the spirit knows. How does the spirit know? Oh my gosh, spies from the shadows. <laughs> the spirit knows from spies. Dang, that sucks. Really good move by spirit. Definitely not a perk I would have expected, but really good plays. And there goes the tenth hook of the game. And the second kill. So the killer has two kills right here. There comes the Claudette. Oh, and microphone's right there. It would probably be in his best interest to die for Hatch, especially because now Claudette is getting chased. Oh no, yeah, he's dying. Let's see if Claudette can get lucky with Hatch. Ah, oh, in a dead zone. 
And the spirit has some really good ears. Oh! Dang! And there's a hook right there. So, there we go. Killer's gonna get the hook right now. So the killer got a 4k with 11 hooks. There were 5 in basement, but the cap is 4. They closed the hatch, that doesn't do anything. But, no exit gate, 2 gens done, 7 unhooks, and 5 heals. Let's run the numbers. Here is Bubba. Bubba is AFK. Okay, there we go. Nice. You know, I was not expecting a Bubba with fire up. That's actually really interesting. I'm really happy to see that. So we have someone at main, two people at three, no, two people at cow tree, and someone hiding. Here we go. I'm gonna take that down. I'm really interested to see this. I think the monster shrine is also because of the basement bonus points. It's only four bonus points, but still, something. Uh-oh. That's not good. Here we go. That was a medium vault. How is that even a medium vault? Oh, hex crowd control. Nice. Getting a nice pallet out of the way. Very necessary. Ooh, mess up my volume. That was an interesting move. Um, that generator is almost done. Uh-oh. Right by the crowd control as well. You can get an M1 right there. And nice, didn't even get stunned. So you can go around that. Tinker has proc though. We'll keep an eye out for the heals. That's the thing I had the hardest part with. Because like, hooks and stuff, they're pretty easy to see. And generator's done. Nice. Uh-oh. He went around that. Here we are at the TNL. It looks like someone's going to be taking a hit. Yeah, there we go. Biffle's taking the hit. And now he's going back to the pallet. Um, I guess he's going to vault the pallet. Maybe not. Oh, he's going looping around the pallet. Nice. There's another tinkerer prop. These guys are getting gens done fast. Here we go. Banana cat. I feel like probably going a little premature with the chainsaws. I suck at bubble personally. So, like, don't listen to any of my tips. Um, I, I give basement bubba a bad name. That's how bad I am. Oh. Tea bag. That was a little mean, man. Come on there. Maybe he's trying to aggravate the killer. That's two gens done. There we go. Fire up stacks. So I really like the perk fire up. I don't use it personally, but like, you get stronger as the game goes on, which I feel is really fun. Um, pretty early chainsaw sweep. Let's see. Survivors are nearby. Where are they? Oh, he's in a locker. Interesting. Hopefully the killer isn't watching <laughs> the stream and stream sniping. Is that, is that even called stream sniping? I don't know stream terms. Um, what is going on? Tinkerer proc? Two tinkerer procs. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. These survivors are in it to win it. Nice. Oh, uh, you probably could have gotten the grab maybe. Gonna get the kick. Looks like another gen will be finished soon. There's that. AC's out in the open. You can probably get a chainsaw sweep on him. That's a little early, so... No. Um, I don't think they know how to extend the sweep. Purse. Maybe. Maybe it's all part of the plan. Ah, dang. That's another M1. No heals have been done, which is definitely going to hurt them in terms of points. So you should probably start healing some a little bit instead of just gen rushing. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Resisting the urge to say tech at the end of every word. Yeah, they're about to do the chainsaw tech into the whole W tech. But here we go. Three gens have been done. Uh, One heal. Two heals. There we go. And is that another thing? Two heals. It looks like we're going to get our first down. Aw, oh, dang. Surprised I didn't hit, actually. There we go. That's the first down of the game. Oh, there they are. Oh, my gosh. They missed the flashlight save. Now, here we are. Four gens have been done. Things aren't looking too hot. Still have two heals to their name. Uh, you can get that M1 right there. There we go. 
and now he has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Um, there's an unhook right there, and they have a hook. Pretty good. I hear the survivor right there. Yep. You can swing for it. No, no, you can't. I lied. <laughs> um, probably don't bloodlust this one. Yeah, I, I probably would break that and zone him. If only, if you zone him the other way, it probably would have been better. Um, and another chainsaw? Um, I'm a little confused. To be honest, I hear him over there. Oh, adrenaline right there. That doesn't count as a heal, because he wasn't healed by somebody. But there we go. I'm gonna go, oh, okay. Yeah, you can extend the chainsaw sweep by pressing, I don't know what button on, uh, what's it called, computer, but I know it's like L2 or something on my console. And there we go, Biffles taking a hit. No heals right there. Oh, there are two people right there. That person is injured. Ah, oh, they're right at that pallet. It was never broken. Once the exit gate is open, they get an automatic five points. They should probably start healing some, my guess. Um, so that'd definitely be helpful. Alright, alright. There they are in the open. Probably not chainsaw sweep. Maybe it works. Almost worked, actually. But I feel like the M1 would have been a little bit better. Uh, can you hit that? Uh, guess not. Oh, he's right there. There we go. There goes another one down. They most likely have the Gates 99. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, flashbang. Almost. They really went for it. That gate is about to be open. That guy is walking around. Oh, he dropped. That's not good. Oh, here's the gate. Be careful, because you could miss out on your hook. And there's an injured guy right behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's right over there, probably picking them up, or about to. Probably should have doubled back to the other side. Oh, there he goes. I hear the other guy behind him, the other down man. But slugging could definitely help out. Down goes Biffles. Let's see, he's coming. They're both there for the heal. So definitely get a hook right here would be good. And you can get some stuff. Now, I'm not counting getting people up from the ground as heals. I'm counting, like, injured to healthy is what I consider it. If you think I should change that in the future, then let me know. But, yeah. There we go. I see him. Um, they are unhooked. So that was two hooks. That's two unhooks as well. Five gens done. They're starting to heal now. Let's see what the killer is doing. Oh, he sees them all. I think they're going to go open the gate. Boom, boom. There we go. And that's two escapes. Exit gates have been opened. Let's see the rest. So he's injured. They got one more heal done. That's three heals in total. Now they're going over here. Is the Bubba coming over? No, the Bubba is not. So that's it. If they're able to get one more heal, that'll definitely help them out. Yeah, there we go. So get off this last heal, and you shall be good to go. That'll be four-man escape. All right, all right. And there's the last heal. Very good. Little tea bag. And we're out of here.